Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books and I'm here today to do a November book haul. I know, I say book haul and every time I say book haul, I think, hmm, didn't you say last time you weren't gonna haul very many books in the coming month? And then I find myself in this predicament again. <laughs> I went to a couple of thrift stores. They just had so many good books. I just had to buy them. You guys know how that goes. Um, and I also hauled some Christmas books, but I'm not gonna include them in this video. If you'd like to know what those were, go ahead and check out my December TBR video. Anyway, let's get into this giant stack. The first book I hauled was The Dinner. I'm not gonna try and pronounce his name. I think it's Herman something, but the last name's always pronounced differently in every video. I didn't have the time to look up the correct pronunciation, so I'm just not gonna say anything. This book is one that I've been looking forward to reading because a lot of people enjoy it. I actually picked up the audiobook version of this book through my library and I started to listen to it, but for some reason I just, kept finding myself wandering, first of all. And second of all, I don't know why, but I kept picturing this dinner happening like in the 1920s, 1930s, somewhere in that era. And really, this happens more modern day. And for whatever reason, between my thinking that was the case and the narrator's voice, great narration, he does a great job, but he's just so... Um, it sounds like such an old timey kind of voice. I just could not like get my mind wrapped around that this happens in a more modern day setting. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna just put the audio book, return it to the library, put it to the side, whatever. And I will pick up the physical copy and try to read that. And I just happened to stumble across it at the thrift store. So I was excited to see that. I probably won't get around to this until January, but I do wanna read it very soon since I've already st started getting familiar with the story through the audio book. The next book I picked up was A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. I think I recently saw Connor O'Brien do a review of this and he seemed to really enjoy it. So that just made me even more excited to pick it up. I love stories about dogs and this book is in perfect condition. I paid a dollar for it, except that it has this Target sticker, which I hate. The next book I picked up was The Signature of All Things by Elizabeth Gilbert. She also wrote Eat, Pray, Love, which I read and loved when I read it. Um, I read the, the sequel to that and I did not like it quite as much. I think it was called Committed. Um, but I read one of her fiction books and that was Stern Men and really enjoyed that. So I decided when I saw this that I was just gonna pick it up. Plus I thought it was beautiful. The cover, the spine is gorgeous. I only paid $2 for this. And then when I take off the cover, the hardback is just gorgeous as well. Um, let me see if I'm holding that up the right way. It's a beautiful spine. Then the end papers like sold me. I just think it's gorgeous. So I can't wait to get into this. I know nothing of what the story is about because you guys know I do not read the synopsis of books. Um, I just like going in and being surprised by the story. Um, but this was just too beautiful to pass up. The next one is called H is for Hawk by Helen McDonald. I saw this on a book Olive's channel. Olive raved about this book and ever since she spoke about it, I was like, I have to pick that up. And I just stumbled across it. And when I saw it on the shelf, I gave like a little squeal of joy. I was like, ah! My daughter's like, what mom? And I'm like, look, look, I found the book I've been looking for. And I paid $2. And again, this book is in like perfect condition. So really excited to read that. This book I picked up only because it had the mermaids in the title. It says The Mermaid Singing by Lisa Carey. I love mermaid stories. I don't seem to come across very many of them, especially at the thrift stores. Um, so I picked it up and my oldest daughter really loves stories about mermaids. So I thought this would be a book that even if I don't end up enjoying it, maybe she will. And then I saw this book and thought the spine was beautiful. And that is Pearl of China by Anchi Min. And this was what the spine looked like. It just it was gorgeous. It has such detail um, behind the lettering. And I just thought it was breathtaking. And then when I saw the cover, saw the pictures and the red and the black, oh, it just was one that was a definitely a cover buy, but I'm hoping will be a really great story. The next book I picked up was Secret Sisters by Joy Calloway. Um, but this seems like it's set in a college as far as what I can read on the back of it. And that uh, I just love stories kind of like that. And I was looking more for like a, like a 
family drama, friend drama kind of book, and this just seems like it might fit the bill. The next book I found was What She Knew by Gilly McMillan. I recently read another book by her. I want to say it was called The Perfect Girl, maybe, and I read it for Lisa's Buddy Reads group. I did not enjoy that one quite that much, but many of the people that read that one had already read this one and said this one was fantastic. So when I saw it sitting there on the shelf for a dollar, I said, why not? Let me give it a try. Then I found a copy of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I have never read Jane Eyre and I really want to read it because I want to read Jane Steele. Um, so I quickly picked this one up, though this is definitely not the edition that I would love to own permanently. Um, but if I end up falling in love with the story, I will look for a much prettier edition. But I thought for a dollar, why not? And again, perfect condition. Then I found The Widow by Fiona Barton, and this is just one of those books that I think will be a fun thriller kind of read, and I just am so in the mood for those. I think that they are great little books to pick up when I have read a lot of fantasy books. Sometimes I just need to like switch it up and read something a little more fast paced and drama filled, you know? Then I was really excited to find this book sitting on the shelves and that is Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Joss from Scribbles Reads and Katie from Katie Loves to Read have both raved about this series. So I saw it there and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it, I have to get it, I have to read it. And I was just so excited and I think I only paid a dollar for this one as well, though there's no sticker on it, but most of the time paperbacks are a dollar at my local Goodwill. Um, so I'm excited to read it and it says it's soon to be a major motion picture. I don't know if that's already come out or not, um, but I would definitely check it out if I like the story. Then I found Frida by Frida, selection of letters and texts forward and notes by Raquel Tibble. I've never really read much about Frida Kahlo, but I, I'm very interested in reading it, uh, in reading it, in reading more about her and learning more about her. And I thought that this would be a fun way to start. It's letters and things that she wrote, things that were just collected. Um, so I would definitely want to give this a read at some point. And I love the pink and yellow cover. Then for Krista's Goodreads group called the Books and Jams Read Along. This month they read Since We Fell by Dennis Lehane and I was not able to join in. Actually I had to return that one to the library because someone else wanted it and I, I had it long enough. I should have read it but I just didn't have time. Um, but while I was at the thrift stores I found a couple more Dennis Lehane books and I thought why not go ahead and pick those up because he seems like an author that I could really get into. So the first of those is Moonlight Mile. Um, though. I'm not a huge fan of the cover. I mean, I like this, but why his name is so large on the front, I don't know. It kind of takes away from the, the cover of the book, which I really would have liked better without that. But um, I'm really excited to find out what the book's about. And then I found The Given Day by Dennis Lehane. This one is huge. This one's like a chunker, but I love the cover to this one. And it had deckled edges and it had map end papers. So I thought that this would definitely be more uh, up my alley. So I was really excited to get that. And then the last book that I hauled for this month is actually a replacement for another book that I have. Um, so you know it's probably a Stephen King book. So I own um, Song of Susanna. This is the Dark Tower book six. Um, in this mass market paperback size. I love the cover, the cover is stunning to me, but I just don't like the size of this book. So I ended up finding the hardcover version, which I thought was fantastic, and it was only $2. Um, so I will definitely be adding this to my collection and probably getting rid of this one. So these were all the books that I hauled for the month of November. Have you guys read any of them? If you have, let me know. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, whether they're good or bad. I like to hear them because it kind of helps me prioritize what I'm going to read. Um, also, are you interested in doing a buddy reads for any of these? Let me know that too and we can schedule one for 2018, which is kind of crazy to be saying. I can't believe how fast this year has gone. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you have a great week and happy reading.